Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank tutorial. This is going to be the SOC Merchant. Um, I'm going to head and whiteboard this problem already. I haven't created any submissions for this yet. So we're going to go ahead and create some code based on what I've scribbled on paper. Um, John works at a clothing store. He has a large pile of socks that he must pair by color for sale. Given an array of integers representing the color of each sock, determine how many pairs of socks with matching colors are there. For example, there are n equals seven socks with colors, and no given the colors here. There is one pair of color one and one pair of color two. There are three odd socks left, one of each color, the number of pairs two. Uh, we're given a function, uh, he has the parameters uh, n and r, and represents the number of socks in the pile. And, uh, uh, the color of each sock. Right? And then we're given a constraint here. That means that n cannot be greater than 100. And uh, so it is a i. All right, uh, this is not a very difficult problem. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just uh, get a crack of it. And um, yeah, all right. Um, I don't know, unless you're coming from C and stuff like that, uh, we typically wouldn't pass the size of the array here. Um, so I don't really have to use N for anything. Uh, so let's get started here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to uh, count how many uh, pair of socks that we have for that matching color. And um, then we need to go ahead and divide that by two. Well, we need to count how many socks we have of that color. And then we need to go ahead and pair them up, which is the same as just dividing all of the colors that we find, the maximum total count by two. And then that will give us the total pairs, right? So for example, let's say that we have the color red twice. We just divide two, um, we're gonna say, two mod two is gonna to equal to zero. If that is true, then we're gonna go ahead and just add one to the pair because we need two two socks make up one pair. All right, uh, so let's get started here. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and um, get a frequency count. It's just gonna keep track of how many socks uh, we find. So let's go ahead and create an array. Call this one um, uh, frequency going to equal to new int array, and this goes up to 100. So we got to put 101 here because we need a space for the 100. And then we need to go ahead and also create a variable for our uh, that's going to hold the pairs. So I'm going to say int um, num pairs going to equal to zero for now. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and um, count how many uh, colors of that sock. So we're gonna go ahead and use a for each loop here. I'm gonna say int uh, sock in our array. And then we're just gonna go ahead and count this. We're gonna say <coughs> uh, frequency and then sock. And then we're gonna count how many socks. Next thing what we want to do is we want to go ahead and pair the colors up. So we need to go ahead and create another loop. I'm going to say for int uh, to do pairs in the socks that we counted earlier. This is going to be our frequency array. So um, num pairs is gonna plus equal to, we're gonna take the pairs, which is the total number of socks, divided by two. And then all we need to do is go ahead and return um, num pairs, all right? And, and this, should, this should be it. So this is gonna be a two n solution, which is uh, n, 
all right so let's go ahead and um, run this And, and we're good to go here. And let's submit. And we're good to go. So, like I said, um, this is a two end solution, which is still a linear solution. Um, however, we are touching numbers that we shouldn't have to touch. Uh, when we go ahead and um, create our frequency counter here, uh, there are some colors that we never touch but we're still taking those values which is going to be uh, not present within our, uh, our array and we're still using we're still going through socks that are not present and that kind of make it a little bit inefficient um, so what we can do is instead of doing this as a two pass algorithm where we have an initial loop that counts and then another one that goes through the counts and then divide that by two I think we can shrink this uh, in one for loop and kind of improve the solution a little bit so let's take a shot at that I'm gonna go ahead here and just uh, delete this for a second here and let me copy this and we're gonna do everything in one for loop um, so we're gonna go ahead and still um, keep our counter here uh, let me use control V so we're still going to count, uh, but this time I'm going to work off the counter here. Um, but as you kind of look at this uh, this solution a little bit, uh, you can see that uh, we can run into a problem real quick because we need to check to see how many pair of socks we have at any given point. We got to mod that by two to figure out if we have a pair or not. And then um, we can reset the um, number of socks found so far uh, if it's not, uh, not greater. Um, well, equal to two, right? Uh, so what we can do here is, um, so if there are not socks initially in that position, right? Um, then we can, if we say zero mod two, we're still gonna get zero, which would kind of say that's a, a a valid path, right? It's a valid uh, check statement. However, it's not in this case. So what we need to do is we need to check the value in there. So it checks if the value is greater than zero. If the value is greater than zero, then we can go ahead and try to mod that and then reset that again. Um, so we could do something like this. Uh, if, and then we check the frequency, let's say, I'm passing the sock. So you're gonna see that we're gonna be dealing with the socks that we're looking at within our array. So if the value within our sock is greater than zero and Uh, the current number of socks count is going to be within our frequency here. So the sock here. If that um, mod two is equal equal to zero, um, that means that we have a pair. So what we can do here is just say num pairs plus plus, and then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, reset. Then we need to go ahead and reset uh, that value to zero. Um, I don't think even resetting it would, wouldn't really matter. I don't think we need to reset it uh, because at any given increment, um, but we should be fine. Uh, we should be fine if we don't inc uh, reset it back to zero. Now what, let's take a shot at that and see. All right, and let's go ahead here and just return um, num pairs. So, okay, so the reason why my, my thinking is that way is because, well, if the value is actually odd, then it's not going to be, uh, uh, it's not going to um, give us uh, a result. So this is not, this is not gonna check out anyway. So there's no point of actually resetting the current value to zero here. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, that should, this should work. Let's go ahead and run this for a second. Let's see. 
Ah, and that works. Yeah, so we don't have to go ahead and actually um, reset this back to zero because if the value is odd, then it will never give us the right result here. Um, however, if it's even, um, then we get that result. So uh, we are okay here. Uh, let's go ahead and submit and see if that also works. All right, guys, this will be it for this solution. I will see you guys in the next Hacker Rank video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.